What's up, class, and welcome to another lesson in the Nomad Shop class here on the School Zone. Yesterday's video was an introduction to the basics of logic gates. Today's video is a direct follow-up to that video where we'll be building our first practical application using logic gates. So if you're unfamiliar with logic gates or need a little refresher, then pause this video and go back and check out that video first. This is like the sequel to that video if you jumped straight into this video. Otherwise, we're gonna jump right into it with what I consider to be the easiest and most common application of logic gates, and that is building a power door that can open from one side and close from the other. Now, I'm not bringing anything new to the table with this one. Plenty of other YouTubers have done similar videos on this technique. All I'm doing with this particular video is showing you my version of it and bringing along with it my easy to follow teaching skills and friendly personality. So if you've seen someone else do this before or using a different type of logic gate, that's to be expected. I just happened to figure this one out on my own, but I'm certainly not the first. And the reason for that is because the two-way power door is what I would consider to be the most obvious application of logic gates. In fact, once you fully get the hang of how logic gates work, the hard part is actually thinking of ways to use them. You're gonna be saying to yourself, okay, I think I know how to use logic gates now, but what can I actually do with them? Well, I've found four different uses for logic gates, today's lesson being one of them. However, I'll fully admit that some of the logic gates available in the menu, I just haven't figured out a use for them. In fact, there's one logic gate that seems completely useless to me. See, I have a feeling that Bethesda just made some of them available to, you know, complete the set so they'd have a complete set of logic gates, not even knowing themselves what they could really be used for, hoping some creators out there might come up with some really nifty tricks. So what I'm going to do is start a thread over on the School Zone subreddit page and let you guys have some fun suggesting different practical applications for them. And if you come up with any new ideas other than the four that that I have planned for videos, then I'll definitely credit you in the upcoming video. One of the videos I have coming up now that we're in the double black diamond lessons is that hands-free laser activated auto on-off decontamination arch. <laughs> Well, that was a mouthful that you guys saw in my Vault 42 build. Another one is that auto closed door you saw in my Covenant build. I have one related to manufacturing and one that's related to an alarm triggered trap gauntlet. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So if you have an idea that isn't related to those upcoming videos, then definitely visit the subreddit page and join the conversation. Or, you know, visit anyway and see what others are coming up with. Okay, let's dive right in. I'm just gonna take this one back over here. Put it on the wall. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this door here at my Abernathy farm build and give him an upgrade, <laughs> all right? So we are gonna use, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these two shack floors and set them over here so that we can make the warehouse door snap. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into structures, warehouse, doors, and the warehouse section has its own doors that aren't available in the regular structures door section. So you see how that snapped right into place? All right, so I'm gonna snap that right there. And let's see here. I think I can put the floors back in. If I need to wire back underground, then uh, I'll take them back out again, but I don't think they would even snap into place if I put the wires under there. So we'll come up with another creative way to hide the wires. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put the logic gate from yesterday's video right there. And then I'm gonna grab a switch. Okay, so we'll use a switch from this side. And then from the other side, I'm just gonna push this out and pop it back into place. So for this one, we'll use the stand-up switch, which is right here. Actually, let's put this on a couple of rugs in case we need to kind of shift it around and stuff. Let's see if I have any of these other rugs. I like these better. Okay. So there we go, that's our other switch. And as a matter of fact, I just thought of a reason why it was good I put those on the rugs, because we're gonna try to hide the power underground by using a little conduit down here. There we go. 
see how close I can get that. Perfect. Okay, actually, let's slide it over just a bit. Okay, and then since uh, the door isn't powered right now, it's closed just for the time being. I'm going to add some stairs. Right there. Okay, so we want the logic gate. We want the power to go from here to the switch. And we want this. Let's see here. We want this to also go to the switch on the other side. So we're going to use the true wire glitch. Did I, did I do it? <laughs> I don't know if I did it. It is. Okay, good, good. Okay. So, now let's hook up the uh, logic gates. This one is going to go to the input. And the other one is also going to go to the input, but we're going to have to wire glitch it, so hopefully I'm not confusing you guys with that. Okay, and then we have one output node that's going to go to the door. Okay, perfect. So, if my technique is correct, then all we need to do is just hook this up to a power source and we should be good to go. So, uh, let's. I have a generator that's underground over here in a little crawl space so let me move this out of the way and add some stairs okay so let's do it like this okay so once again wire glitch Yep, perfect. Okay, so it's going underground. And it opened. Awesome. All right, so let me take this out of the way, pop this back into place, and I'll kind of explain everything that just happened there. All right, actually, let's remove this too, and I'm going to slide this into place where I want it, and then I'll kind of go over everything that just took place. Looks about right. Uh, where's the blue? Give me the blue. Yeah, let's do this again. A few inches later. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Just wanted to get that right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull the rug out. It drops down into place right on top of that uh, pylon. So we kind of hide the wires there. The wire is going through the wall there. And uh, we are good to go. Okay, so I'm going to close this. There we go. So now what happens is, you know, we approach the settlement we open the door. We walk in. We close the door. And the door closes. Okay, so let me switch this back on and I'll kind of explain what is going on here. So, power is coming underground. So you can see a tiny bit of the wire there. I could put a plant there to cover that up. And it's going to a conduit that's down there just to hide the wires 
One conduit is going up to this switch. The other conduit is going up to this switch. Both switches are connecting to the red input node. And then the output node... Oh, yeah, that's interesting. It vanished. <laughs> oh, I see what's going on here. Oh, that's weird. Check that out. It glitches like that sometimes when you move things around. Okay, I'm just going to get back up again. From there to there. Bingo. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Power's coming in. Conduit, switch. Switch. Both switches to the input node, output node going up to the uh, power door. And now when we close it from the inside, it's going to close back down again. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, you can also use the XOR gate. And the reason for that is because the power doors, when the power is off, they're closed. If the power is on, they're open, okay? Or in other words, direct power going in. It's not the same with all types of conduits. Normal intuitive logic would tell you that when you turn on the power door, it's gonna close, not open. So because of that kind of uh, reversal there, you need to use the uh, one of the exclusive gates. It just depends on uh, whether you like having them both on or off uh, from the inside or the outside. Kind of just depends on your preferences there. Like I said, I didn't want this to be too long of a video, so I'll kind of clean up this whole thing a little bit, you know, hide the wires a little bit more, do something with the top of the door so it kind of blends in a little bit better with the build and, uh, you know, add some decoration. Oh, and by the way, the reason that I wanted this uh, wide warehouse door is so that the Brahmin can fit through. What I've noticed is really fascinating about a build is that if you set up a trade caravan, you know, those trade caravans with the tent that you can pick up from uh, from the Bunker Hill. I probably should make a video about that, but I, once again, that's one of those videos that's been done a hundred times, so you guys can probably just Google it. But uh, anyway, if you set up a trade caravan in your settlement and traders, you know, like Doc Weathers and uh, what's her name, uh, Cricket, and they start visiting that specific point inside your settlement where there's a trade caravan, if you then store the trade caravan, the vendors will still show up at your build and they'll go right to the place where they last saw that uh, that trade caravan even though it's not actually taking up space in your settlement anymore so the brahmin and the provisioners and all the traders actually walk into my settlement and go right to uh this little area where i used to have you know the trade caravan tent set up i took it away so that i could increase the frame rate and uh builds all kinds of complicated things here but anyway, that's the reason why I have the, the wide warehouse doors instead of the smaller power doors. You can use this technique with the smaller power doors as well, even the wooden one that kind of slides back and forth. So you don't have to just use this warehouse door. You can use any of the power doors. They all operate basically the same way. Abernathy Farm here is really more of my experimental staging area anyway than a true settlement though, so I'm not too worried about it. But if any of you think this is ugly, I was really just showing off the technique rather than making this, you know, a let's build video. Anyway, if this video helped, be sure to throw a like on it and subscribe for more expert lessons coming up soon. Thanks again for watching. Happy building and class dismissed.